Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll look at Samsung's new 2025 8K TV lineup. However, before exploring these latest models, I want to pose an important question. Are 8K TVs dead? Well, the immediate answer is not quite. And with Samsung now the only manufacturer releasing new models this year, it seems they believe there is still life in the 8K TV market. That being said, the sales of 8K TVs have been steadily declining as mainstream adoption has faltered due to factors like a lack of 8K content, high prices, and the fact that the human eye cannot always discern the difference between 4K and 8K at typical viewing distances. Another major factor contributing to the decline of 8K TVs is limited manufacturer support, as most have scaled back or abandoned the technology, along with little or no backing from Hollywood. However, that could change soon. More on the film industry's latest contribution at the end of the video, so watch to the end. Now, onto the lineup. Samsung is headlining many of its 2025 models with Samsung Vision AI. This tech delivers AI-powered personalization features and picture sound optimization, which Samsung claims will unlock a world of new experiences while transforming your screen into intelligent solutions that enrich everyday life. Samsung has two new 8K models for 2025, the flagship QN990F and QN900F. Both models are available in 65, 75, and 85-inch screen sizes. Samsung's 8K models feature their best technology, so here is a rundown of what these TVs have to offer. First, the QN990F. This TV delivers excellent picture quality, which starts with Samsung's Quantum Matrix Pro technology and thousands of full-array mini-LEDs for backlighting with local dimming. Additionally, it has Ultimate 8K Dimming Pro to make the TV screen brighter, its colors more accurate, and great contrast and black levels for a more realistic viewing experience. For video processing, Samsung uses its best chip, the NQ8 AI Gen 3 processor, which uses 768 neural networks to analyze and enhance video scene by scene, delivering exceptional picture quality. This processor also incorporates 8K AI Upscaling Pro, which intelligently remasters video content that appears similar to native 8K quality. Other features of the QN990F include Neo Quantum HDR 8K Pro for better contrast, brightness, black levels, and color reproduction. You also get Color Booster Pro, which enriches color using AI-driven scene analysis and enhanced image processing for each frame. The results are vibrant and dynamic colors as AI analyzes each scene and enhances the hues for a more vibrant viewing experience. The QN990F also employs ultra-viewing angle technology that improves the look of the picture when viewing from the sides. For motion handling, Samsung uses Motion Accelerator 240Hz with AI Auto Motion Enhancer Pro. This processing handles the basics of delivering smooth, fluid motion at up to 4K 120Hz for regular content. But it doesn't stop there, the Motion Accelerator 240Hz feature takes motion to the next level for gaming, allowing for blisteringly fast motion clarity with nearly no lag or blur. You'll get consistently stunning visuals and ultra-smooth performance at elite speeds, so your picture stays incredible throughout all the action. In addition, Dynamic Refresh Technology supports VRR with FreeSync Premium Pro and PC gaming at up to 4K 240Hz. Furthermore, the TV employs Samsung's AI Motion Enhancer Pro to analyze motion on the screen and optimize it, reducing blur and improving clarity even further, especially for fast-moving objects like those in live sports. The TV also has ALLM or Auto Low Latency Mode, which automatically detects gameplay so you can enjoy faster, smoother gaming with less input lag and virtually no motion blur or judder. For sound quality, the QN990F has Object Tracking Sound Pro and Dolby Atmos, which uses a 6.2.4 speaker system and dedicated top channels for sound that follows on-screen movement and creates a multi-dimensional soundscape. For entertainment, both models offer the next evolution of Samsung's Tizen OS called One UI Tizen. One UI Tizen enhances the look and feel of Tizen OS, with a refreshed layout that mirrors the interface of many Samsung smartphones, tablets, and Galaxy watches. This intuitive smart TV platform opens the door to endless free content. Stream over 2,700 free channels, including over 400 premium Samsung TV Plus channels, all on a smart TV platform that you can personalize to your liking. 
Now one other feature worth mentioning is Samsung's glare-free technology that provides a matte finish on both the QN990F and QN900F. On the one hand, this eliminates glare and reflections, making them the perfect choice for brightly lit rooms, allowing you to enjoy your shows without any annoying distractions. On the other hand, some argue that the matte finish can sometimes make images appear dull and washed out with grayish overtones and less color vibrancy when compared to a glossy screen. It's a trade-off that some viewers will appreciate, especially if their viewing environment causes lots of screen reflections. Up next, connectivity. The QN990F has a wireless One Connect box that houses the AV connections and wirelessly transmits an 8K 120Hz signal to your TV. It should be installed in the same room as the TV within 32 feet and requires a separate connection to AC power. And while speaking of connectivity, the QN990F has 5 HDMI 2.1 inputs that support 8K at 120Hz and 4K up to 240Hz. The QN900F offers 4 HDMI 2.1 inputs with support for 8K at 120Hz and 4K up to 165Hz. Now moving on to the QN900F. This model contains many of the features found on the flagship QN990F. So to keep things simple I will talk about the similar features available on the QN900F, which are technically downgrades when compared to the QN990F, nevertheless, they are still impressive features. For video and audio processing, the QN900F uses Samsung's very capable NQ8 AI Gen 2 processor, which also uses multi-layered neural networks to analyze and enhance video scene by scene, delivering pristine picture quality. This TV uses 8K AI upscaling, which intelligently remasters lower resolution content, making it appear similar to native 8K quality. For motion handling, the QN900F uses Motion Accelerator 165Hz with AI Auto Motion Enhancer Pro. This processing handles the basics of delivering smooth fluid motion at up to 4K 120Hz for regular content. But for even better motion control, the Motion Accelerator 165Hz feature takes motion handling to the next level for gaming, allowing for extremely fast motion clarity with nearly no lag or blur. You'll get consistently great visuals and ultra-smooth performance at impressive speeds, so your picture stays incredible throughout all the action. Furthermore, Dynamic Refresh technology supports VRR with FreeSync Premium Pro and PC gaming at up to 4K 165Hz. For sound quality, the QN900F has Object Tracking Sound Plus and Dolby Atmos which uses a 4.2.2 speaker system and dedicated top channels for sound that follows on-screen movement and creates a multi-dimensional soundscape. Okay, that about covers many of the features for both the QN990F and QN900F, and for additional info about these TVs, check out the description section. Okay, now that we've covered many of the key features for both models, it's time to get back to the question I posed earlier, which was, are 8K TVs dead? And the answer was, not quite. And one of the reasons was a lack of support from Hollywood and the film industry. However, in two recent articles from TechRadar and Flat Panels HD, has stated that Warner Brothers Studio has scanned over 20 films in 8K, which tentatively means these films can be released as an 8K home video format. Nevertheless, there is still a major issue to solve. And that is how to get 8K content to homes that makes it a worthwhile endeavor for consumers. As it stands, streaming services can't stream 8K content without major compression and bandwidth issues, and Blu-rays top out at 4K. I'll leave links to the articles mentioned in this video in the description section. Now it remains to be seen what the future holds for 8K content to be delivered to our homes on a wide-scale basis, and if consumers will be interested in paying to watch 8K content at home. So, in closing, what are your thoughts on 8K TVs? Are they a worthwhile investment or is 4K TVs picture quality more than enough? If you found the content in this video informative, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for upcoming tech videos. Thanks for watching.